everyone talking about Amorous Femme by Mason Francis Curjean. The notes in this are California Orange, Jamaican Amorous, Florentine Iris, Haitian Vetiver, and Musky Amber. I used to think it sounded so cool when they would list, you know, oh, this is from that source, this is from that one. But ever since I started, you know, making some of my own fragrance and sourcing stuff, I see it's actually very cheap and most of it, a lot of it wasn't even going to be from the U.S. anyway. I mean, this has California Orange, but yeah, so don't get too impressed by that part, I would say. But this is light and fresh, but done in a very chic way, with like a powdery touch, but not a powder bomb by any means. I think it smells pretty nice in a way that's both elegant and also comes across as effortless, which is nice because a lot of those ones would come across too try hard sometimes to me. And I think this could actually work really well as like a signature scent for someone during warm to moderate weather. It's one of those rare good combinations that it smells classy and upscale, but it doesn't smell stuffy and it doesn't lack mass appeal. Because a lot of the time those classy ones, it's like, yeah, okay, maybe they smell like classy, but then it's just kind of like, oh, too much or maybe more mature leaning than someone wanted or just stuffy or whatever reason. But yeah, this leans feminine, as you may guess from the title, but sometimes things are marketed a certain way and they don't actually smell that way. So just to confirm that, moderate to good longevity and projection. And I think that's good for this one because it has a kind of powerful scent profile. So if the it was too beast mode, that wouldn't be good, but you can still get, you get pretty good longevity and projection with spraying very little of this and goes for 235 for a 70 milliliter. I think that's fair enough in this case. I mean, that's obviously very, very pricey and out of reach for a lot of people, but in terms of comparing it within niche and the quality and stuff like that, this does stand out, I think, in a lot of ways. And I am not a big MFK fan um, in terms of Mason Francis Curjean. There's ones I really like, but I'm not one of those people who's like, oh, I just love everything they do. Eh, normally just kind of like like, but not love, but I do think this is pretty impressive uh, overall. And I will link in the description where you can get a bottle or a sample.